For our first demonstration, we will illustrate how to position fingers to capture two flat fingerprints and single thumb fingerprints. When requested by the Seek device, place the right index and middle fingers on the platen. Fingers should be parallel with the sides of the platen. While applying increasing pressure, observe the Seek capture window above the finger capture area until the corresponding lights change from red to green. Apply pressure to the subject's fingers if needed. If too much pressure is applied, the fingerprint indicator lights will change from green to yellow. Repeat this procedure for each set of fingers as directed by the instructions on the capture screen. Now that we have shown you how to properly capture prints using a two-finger slap and a single thumb fingerprint, we will now demonstrate how to operate the Seek to capture fingerprints during a tactical DPRS enrollment. Prior to capturing fingerprints on the Seek device, open the platen cover. It is recommended that you keep a sheet of cleaning tape on the glass platen when not in use and the cover is closed, especially in dusty field conditions. Remove the cleaning tape from the platen and inspect it to see that it is clean from dust and latent prints. Stick the cleaning tape to the underside of the dust protection cover. At the conclusion of the enrollment session, you should replace the cleaning tape and secure the dust cover. When you are ready to begin the enrollment session, grasp the Seek device in your right or left hand. Position your subject so you can grasp the subject's hand for capturing prints. There may be times when you need to capture the fingerprints of an uncooperative subject. Your partner can assist by restraining the subject while you take the fingerprints with the Seek device. From the MOBS enrollment menu, select Fingerprints. When the Capture Fingerprints window appears, tap the Capture button to start the capture process. The first time you capture fingerprints in the MOBS program, you must protect the platen of the Seek device from finger contact and direct sunlight during the calibration cycle. Face the Seek device platen close to your body or upside down to shave the platen from the time you tap the Capture button until the Capture window appears on the Seek display. After the Capture window appears, you can capture fingerprints in direct sunlight. There are no restrictions on additional captures of fingerprints while you remain in the MOBS program. If you stop the MOBS program, the above requirement to protect the platen from direct sunlight again applies to the first capture of fingerprints. Before rotating the Seek device to face the subject to capture their fingerprints, tap the Rotate icon to rotate the screen, allowing you to view the fingerprint capture screen as you capture the subject's fingerprints. When conducting a 10-finger capture, there are times when some fingers cannot be scanned and captured because they are damaged or missing. The MOBS application program will automatically detect the damaged or missing finger. If you need to annotate the finger or fingers, follow these steps. When you try to scan a two-finger slap print and the subject is missing a finger or has a damaged finger, the capture station camera will time out and display an annotation window. Select the missing or damaged finger by tapping on the finger within the finger's image in the annotation window. When selecting the finger, a list of annotation types will appear. Select the type of annotation for the missing finger. The selected finger to be annotated is now marked. Tap Accept to continue capturing the rest of the fingers. When the missing or damaged finger is cued to be rolled, the capture station program remembers the annotated finger and bypasses the scanning of the annotated finger during the rolling process. There may be times when it is obvious that the index finger or thumb is not printable or missing from the subject's hand. For these situations, tap Annotate from within the MOBS application window. An annotation window appears. Select the index finger that is to be annotated by tapping on the index finger image and selecting the type of annotation. The selected finger to be annotated is now marked. Tap Accept to close the annotation window. You can then continue to capture the remaining fingerprints. This image is an example of what the Capture the Fingerprints window would look like if the subject's right index finger were unprintable or missing.